मिस्टर चेयरमैन सर आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू यू एंड दिस अगस्ट हाउस फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू गिव एक्सप्रेशन टू माई फीलिंग्स ऑन सर्टन टॉपिक्स विच आर इंटीमेटली कनेक्टेड विद द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिस कंट्री सर आई एम अ पर्सन हु हैज स्पेंट मोर देन फोर डिकेट्स इन द वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ एजुकेशन साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आई हैव द प्रिविलेज ऑफ हैविंग बीन एसोसिएटेड I may say quite intimately with the various scientific organizations in the country apart from this since science education and technology form the foundation upon which depend the development and prosperity of this country I should like at the moment to confine my observations only to these topics. <coughs> We have been very much interested to learn from the papers the various types of schemes that are being put up for the development of the subjects. by the ministry of education in fact there have been so many types of projects and so many types and patterns of education and so much money is being spent that it gives us hope that sooner than later the standard of achievement in our country with regard to these subjects will be raised as a matter of fact very often to indication of the progress that has been made or is being made in these subjects is estimated by the amount of money that is allotted for the development of these subjects while i shall always appreciate the amount of money that is set apart for these developments i should at the same time feel that the net result of these expenses must be more tangible as a matter of fact personally i would like that even greater amounts of money should be made available for these developments as is the case in a number of advanced countries of the world but in spite of all this we find that in general there is a sort of dissatisfaction prevailing in our country that the standard of education achieved in our country is not sufficiently high when all these things are being said and done and when still the results do not fully satisfy the public surely there is something amiss somewhere in spite of all the money that comes from the national fund and from foreign countries for being spent we find that the standard achieved in our country in science education and technology is far below the desired standard 
let us begin with the universities themselves we are observing that universities are growing in our country like mushrooms after all what is the basic difference between a university and a college i need not say that whereas the essential purpose of a college is to impart education in the known branches of subjects the object of a university is both creation and imparting of knowledge let us examine the condition of the staff that has been given to so many of these universities i am very unhappy to give a picture of the present conditions there are many universities which have been in existence for a number of years and still a large number of posts especially senior posts are still unfilled if we go on creating universities like this and if we do not succeed in getting the proper type of teaching staff how can we expect that the universities would be able to discharge their responsibilities the present position in many of the universities is fresh young men who just passes this master examination say in june just at the beginning of july is being put in charge of teaching not only the undergraduate classes but even the ma and msc classes everyone knows the system of examination that is unfortunately prevailing in our country how do the young men pass the examinations most of them just try to cram the subjects without undergoing any serious effort to study properly and master their subjects thanks to the system of examination they often succeed in getting very high percentage of marks and then they are appointed to the staff naturally we cannot expect that this type of teachers will be able to give a good account of themselves in teaching the university classes then if we take into consideration the libraries and research journals we find that they are very ill equipped now if the condition of the universities be like that how can we expect that our country will advance sufficiently in higher studies and research there are various organizations set up to impart education in higher fields there has been much emphasis put on research work and i would say sir very rightly because unless and until the country could be sufficiently advanced in the matter of research we shall not be able to give a good account of ourselves in the intellectual field in the international world